Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you all some items I picked up from TJ Maxx, Walmart, and what I ordered off of Amazon. Uh, this is my first time doing this on my channel, so let me know what you think about it, if you like it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start with the things that I purchased from uh, Walmart first. Everything I purchased from Walmart is in this basket here. I went... Um, this morning and purchase some things that I really need and some things I do not need. But we're going to go through those items that I purchased. And in this basket is my TJ Maxx and my Amazon finds. So we're going to go through these items and then I'll be using them in upcoming videos, give you my thoughts on them. Some of the stuff I purchase are repeats that I love, like from Walmart, um, but other things from TJ Maxx are more like makeup items that I have not tried but I wanted to try so with that let's go ahead and get this video started so I'm going to start with the Walmart basics my pretty much repeat stuff I love I like to use and have to stock up on so for starters I love to use this um, dream kids olive miracle quick bounce detangling pudding I love this stuff so I bought two of these and they're only like two dollars and something I love them for both my hair and my granddaughter's hair. She has really, really thick hair, so this really does help out a lot with uh, hair that's really, really tangled. And it helps my hair a whole lot as well when it's really, really tangled because I have really long, thick hair that stays tangled. Um, to go with that, I, I, I buy a lot of these little spray bottles, and I put, like, water in them, setting lotion, um... Or I mix my setting lotion and water together. Anything to kind of have, make it a detangler spray to go along with the puddings that I have. I will use this, fill it up with um, product and spray it to um, activate the product that I'm putting in my hair to make it easy and more manageable. So I love buying these little squirt bottles. Um, the next thing that I bought is some, um, oh my gosh, all of this noise, I'm sorry. Some more uh, goody, easy snap barrettes. I love these barrettes. Um, uh, my hair, when I put my hair in a ponytail like this, and it's like straight and long, and I have it flat ironed or curled or something of that nature when I have it blown out, these are perfect for putting them in a ponytail when I don't want to put that grip back in my hair from ties like this. Um, but that's what I use these for, and I go through a lot of these. Cause I also took some time to just crack down the middle. Then I'll just go and buy some more because I love them. I love the Goody brand for that. You know, though, that's a good brand. And I buy these extra large Goody Ouchless. They actually go around your head <laughs> to pull your hair back. But I actually use them as a scrunchie because of the elasticity of them. And my hair is so thick. And I need something that's going to hold it. Oh, I'm sorry, all this noise again. That's going to hold it like this. This bun I have. It's a twisted bun, but something like this will hold my hair really, really tight and in place. If I use those small ones, it doesn't do it for me. It kind of loosens up and it's not as tight as I want it like my hair today. The next item I have is I purchased a new rat tail comb. And I purchased it with this little skinny metal end because I do a lot of twisting in my hair to kind of um, keep from putting so much heat on it because I still do relax my hair. And I like this comb to part when I'm doing the twist. And I do that maybe once or twice a month. That way it lasts for a week. And it's in a couple, you'll see in a couple of my videos prior to this one. And I'll be twisting it in upcoming videos. But I wanted a really, really precise comb with this rather than just the fat end that's plastic. So, um... I'm really excited to use this. I've seen a lot of people use a comb like this to get kind of like straight parts in your hair. So I'm ready to use that one. On to the beauty products. The rest of the items from here, the rest of the video from Walmart, TJ Maxx, and Amazon are all beauty products. I wanted to save those for last. You know, they say, say save the best for last. So, but I did stock up on some more Milani foundations. I love Milani foundations. Um, it's like perfect for me. I use it as a foundation. I use it to highlight, um, you know, anything contour. So I just racked up on a couple of more shades 
um, five different shades. I have the shade Warm Beige. I have the shade Creamy Nude. Um, actually, I have two Creamy Nudes. Don't know how I end up with that. An ivory and a light. And I'll definitely be highlighting under my eye area with these. And the other ones I'll be actually putting on my face while I'm mixing the foundation, trying to get the perfect shade. Or, like I said, just a highlight or whatever color I'm trying to use, whether, you know, it goes when it gets back to uh, fall or winter, my shade goes a little lighter. So I just love keeping up stock on these. And I actually just went through, um, I just emptied like three of them because I used two and three at one time. Because, like I said, I used one for foundation, one for highlight, one like contouring and all that stuff. So. You, I would definitely keep these on hand as long as they sell them and make them. It's a, a great, great, great foundation um, and concealer. Um, next, I, I when I was in Walmart, I noticed uh, Black Opal had some eyeshadow palettes that I've never seen. So they had two, um, I think two small ones and then two big ones. But I picked up the two small ones, which are these two here. Um... This one is the Iconic High Impact Shadows, and I have not opened it, and I should have opened it. Let me see if I can open because I want to show you all the um, colors in here up close. Because I think this is a more, um, I think this one is, has, it has like, I think two mattes and one shimmer in it. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's pretty. These are the colors. I'm sorry, I don't want to cover up my face. But these are the colors in the iconic one. And these are really, really pretty. So I can't wait to see how I perform. I've never, ever tried any black opal eyeshadows. But I'm looking forward to trying this. I may try it tomorrow. It just depends on what my day looks like. I'm not 100% sure. But I do know I want to do a, um, a shot mustache. I'm going to see if I can get one of those in before the weekend is over um i'm sorry for all this rambling i should have opened this stuff before i came on camera but it's okay um the other palette i bought from black opal that packaging is hard to open this one is really really pretty and this one is the black bombshell bb and these are what these colors look like that green is really pretty and that gold at the top here is really really pretty so I don't know if I could use this palette by itself. No, all of these are shimmers. And I have to compare this, how they use a transition palette with some transition shade, transition <laughs> shades with these. But I will definitely be using this palette as well. The other two palettes um, I purchased from Walmart. Um, one is the uh, Ultimate Edit Palette. And I, I purchased this one on a whim. Only because the gold colors in this palette caught my attention more so than anything um, are these two shades here. Uh, they are really, really pretty. I'm, the only reason I'm not swatching because I'm actually about to head out um, to dinner. So I don't want to do it in a whole lot of swatching because I'm trying to hurry up so I can get out the door. But these two golds are like really pretty um, looking at them. But I definitely want to look do a look with this palette and see how it performs and see what we can come up with. The next palette is the the um, a bigger shot, um, palette of the Ultimate Edit, which is this one. I like this one as well. The pop of green caught my eye. Again, that gold at the bottom. And when I was looking at it, I kind of got inspired when I was in Walmart. I was like, okay, I can do this. Look with these two colors I can use. Maybe these colors, put those two shimmers together with one of the mattes, you know, put those two greens together, put those two together. So I was really inspired when I looked at this color combination because you can do so many looks with this palette. Another one I'm going to look forward to making a video with. The next thing I, I purchased were um, eyelashes. I love some eyelashes. I purchased these three different styles by... Um, Salon Perfect and one is the pre-permed push-up and those are really really pretty I like the way those lashes look they are really really pretty like a nice wispy like thick and it says it's a medium curl natural lift 
So I can't wait to put these on because I love me some lashes. The other lash I bought is the light and fluffy wispy. And I'm and this one says it's a weightless dimension. And I like this one too. It's really, really pretty. I love some wispy like what lashes that kind of separate it, but like crisscross hairs. I love them. And this one is the light and fluffy cluster. Um, weightless dimension. And I also love cluster lashes. I've only found cluster lashes today. And I actually got these off of Amazon. But this is pretty. I like it. And then Salon Perfect normally makes pretty good eyelashes. Anyways, I used to wear those 614, those 613s like every day. Every day when I first started wearing lashes. Because they were so thin. You can just slap them on like really, really quick. Now two more pair of lashes I bought from... Uh, Walmart is actually the same lash, but it's the I Envy, and I only bought it because it said it was a bestseller. And I've never tried this style, but I've had the brand before. But this style I've never even tried. But I like how full, how full the lash is, <clears throat> and it says it's multi-angle and volume, but it's lightweight. Again, I can't wait to try these on either. So that does it for my Walmart finds. Now I'm gonna move over to my TJ Maxx and my Amazon finds. So, I'm going to go ahead and put my Amazon find out the way, which is some lashes. Uh, I saw these on Amazon. I'm always on Amazon looking at lashes. A lot of my lashes I do buy off of Amazon because of the quantity for the price. These, I saw these. Let me see if I can take this paper out so we can get a better look at these lashes. Um, this is... This paper just not gonna do any good right now. So let's just do this. This is one pack, and I think this is the one that that is the cat eye, but they're really really fluffy. I hope you guys can see it. They're really really fluffy. I can't wait to try these on. I really like lashes like this that are full full volume wispy, and this one is a different style. And I believe it was like seven dollars. Um. This is the other um, style. That's pretty. I like it. Um, I think they're like seven dollars, eight dollars. I think you get two, four, six. Eight. You get two, four, six, ten pair of lashes in both, and you can't beat that. You're getting twenty pair of lashes for around sixteen, maybe seventeen, eighteen bucks, and then they are beautiful lashes at that. So that that's my Amazon find. Now on to my Target finds. Now, when I went to Target, I was really, really surprised that my local Target had all of these items that I purchased today. I'm not the BH Cosmetics palette. I'm not shocked about this one because they always have BH Cosmetics palettes. But I did pick up this Marvin Magnificent um, 15 color shadow and highlighter palette. I watched this for a while when it was on the website. I'm not sure if, it, if it's even still on BH Cosmetics website. But this is what the palette looks like. And I like those colors on here. Those mattes and then the shimmers and then all the highlighters on this end. I think this palette can be used like pretty much every, and as an everyday eyeshadow palette. You have those a little warm. You have cool tones and then you have these highlighter shades in here. So I think this will be a perfect everyday palette. Again, I'm going to check it out. I'm going to see how it performs. And I will let you all know. But then the packaging is like really heavyweight. Like it's like, um, luxurious or something. It's like really nice. Um, not the standard BH package that I've seen. But this is really, really nice. The colors are pretty, pretty in here. Um, the next find I have is four um, boxes of lashes. Again, I'm a lash girl. And these are the lashes. I think I picked up different styles. I don't think. No, actually, I did not. I picked up um, three pair of baby doll, which and they were actually three ninety nine. This style here, it's really pretty. Again, I love something like spiky, wispy. What happened to my camera? Spiky, um, kind of clustered, wispy. I love a lash that's not flat and plain. So, I actually bought three of these um, to try out. And then I bought one pair of um, Clio. And it's more of a cat eye. And it's a light um, lash. And it's a cat eye lash. 
So, I don't know what's going on. My light is keep, like it's going in and out. I'm sorry, guys. But it's a weightless volume and curl lash. I think this was the only pack they had, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. But I just wanted to try it because I do like cat eye lashes when I'm doing certain looks where it's kind of shorter here and goes out like a wing effect. The bomb. They are nice when you're doing like natural glams, light glams, or any actual any look where you want to just your eyes to pop and not let the lashes take over. Now, the last four items that I purchased from TJ Maxx, um, I have been watching these palettes. The last couple of times I went in there, and they actually were still there, are the three Cara Beauty palettes. I was surprised to see all three of them in there at one time. I really was. Uh, the Daydream palette, which is a beautiful green um, palette. It is really pretty in person. It does not... This lighting on camera does not give it any justice. It's really, really pretty. It has this gold tones and um, green shimmer and green mattes. I can't wait to use I've never tried Cara Beauty. This will be my first time trying any of their shadows. I know I have this big bulky blue palette that I bought from a um, an expo they had in my area. And I went to it and I wasn't even sure who Cara Beauty was. So I just went picked with that one palette and left and did not get anything else. Uh, so not familiar. I wasn't familiar with that brand back then. But I see a lot of... Um, YouTubers using Call of Beauty. So when I went in there, I was like, okay, let me give it uh, um, a shot because I think these were about $5.99 or $4.99. But when I went on their website, I think they were about $11 to $12 or something like that. So when I saw they were $4.99, $5.99, I said, that's a steal. You can get all three for that price is one that will be on the website. So I picked them up. Then I have the Wildflower, which is a more peachy tone. And I'll use this one probably a good bit, too. This is really pretty. Um, I like that little shade there. And then it's a peachy shimmer shade here. It's really, really pretty. So, like I said, I can't wait to use them to see how they perform. I've never used the brand before, but I'm excited to use it. Now, this one is an everyday, like, everyday eyeshadow palette. It's a, a neutral eyeshadow palette. <clears throat> These allergies are a mess. Um, that gold is like so pretty. I know you really can't see it with this lighting. I don't know, but this is a nice palette. Now, the last item I found, and I was definitely, definitely shocked to see this palette in my local TJ Maxx. Because when it comes to makeup, it's a hit or miss with my local TJ Maxx. And it's the Laura Lee Los Angeles Cats and Pajamas palette. I wanted to buy this palette and I almost went on her website and bought it. And then when I went in there, because I had been eyeballing ever since this pastel palette came out. I was going to buy the pastel palette and possibly pick up this palette. But when I went in there, I saw this palette and it was the last one they had. And it was $12.99. So, I was like, okay, so I'm going to put this in my car, in my basket, and pay for it because I may not run across this $12 palette again. And when I looked at it, look at these colors. And the formula looks like it's so creamy and easy to work with. So, I can see myself using this. I really like it. I like the colors in it. I don't know how the formula works, but we'll see. This is like really, really nice. I'm, I was excited to see this in my local TJ Maxx. Because uh, like I said, I have been eyeballing the panel. But those are my finds from TJ Maxx, Walmart, and Amazon. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video today with me sharing you with you all what I bought. My finds at my local stores. And if you, um, if you, if there are any suggestions on videos that you would like to see that I can, you know, produce the content for you, just please let me know in the comment section. And if you haven't done so already, please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel and become a part of my family. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.